Here we have a very distinctive goldfish. Notice the large blister just below its eye, looking almost like a chubby cheek. Then there are goldfish whose eyes pop out like telescopes, and some that even resemble pandas. How do these unique types of goldfish come about? None of the goldfish species we know today are found naturally in the wild. Originally, in China, different types of carp were bred for both food and decoration. Goldfish were specially bred from these carp species, and their ancestors were typically gray or silver. However, during selective breeding, orange and red goldfish appeared due to mutations. These colors were favored and bred further. Interestingly, the dark colored genes are still present in goldfish, so even two orange goldfish can produce offspring of different colors. Interesting, isn't it? But creating colorful goldfish wasn't enough. Breeders began creating even more unusual looking goldfish. To do this, they bred fish with unique mutations to enhance these peculiar features. You might think there's a complex method to breed these fish, but it often just involves manually pressing the goldfish's belly to release eggs and sperm for fertilization, a process some might find a bit unsettling. For example, the goldfish with large blisters under their eyes are bred from fish that naturally had small fluid pouches in that area. Breeders repeatedly mated such individuals and their offspring intensifying these traits over many generations. This has been going on for hundreds of years, mainly in China and Japan, continually creating new varieties of goldfish. Interesting, isn't it? These unique goldfish are greatly admired for their special looks. However, their distinctive appearances come with drawbacks. Intense breeding to produce specific traits often involves a lot of inbreeding, which can lead to genetic problems and make the fish more susceptible to disease and environmental changes. As a result, the more unusual the goldfish, the shorter its lifespan and the harder it is to keep healthy. For instance, breeds with facial bumps can develop growths that impair their vision or even lead to death. Goldfish with blisters or bulging eyes typically have poor eyesight, and these sensitive areas are prone to damage and infection, which can be dangerous. These areas will heal if they get hurt, but they can heal improperly or get infected, which can be very dangerous. To prevent injuries, it's crucial not to place sharp objects like artificial plants in their tanks. This is why I avoid using them in my own aquarium. Careful maintenance is key when raising these varieties. Additionally, if you plan to keep a pop-eyed goldfish, it's essential to recognize symptoms of pop-eyed disease, a condition that causes their eyes to bulge unusually. When fish are exposed to poor water quality or stressful environments, they might develop pop-eye disease, where their eyes bulge out. Sometimes, goldfish with this condition are mistakenly thought to be pop-eyed goldfish. However, pop-eye disease is asymmetrical, and the cornea appears cloudy. In contrast, pop-eyed goldfish have clear corneas, and their eyes bulge symmetrically. Additionally, when keeping goldfish, you might notice them having long, string-like feces. This is because goldfish have long digestive tracts, and their buoyancy in water prevents the feces from breaking off as they sink to the bottom. If you take a closer look at the shape of the feces, you can actually tell a lot about your goldfish's health. Regularly checking the feces can help you maintain their health and raise even healthier goldfish. That's the end of our video on goldfish breeds. If you found it interesting, please consider subscribing to our channel. This was Fishy Science, where we unravel the mysteries of science.